Want to sound like a British native speaker? Well, you're in the right place. Watch this video and your English speaking will improve better and faster than you ever thought possible. So, are you feeling good? Are you feeling motivated? Are you ready for another exciting pronunciation lesson from a real live native speaker? That's me. That's great. Let's go. Welcome to my channel where you will learn English better, like a native speaker, and welcome aboard Palm Tree Teaching English Academy. For the very best pronunciation and English language lessons and a new way to learn English that really works, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button and the bell and catch my twice weekly lessons. And then you will be one step closer to sounding like a British native speaker. By the end of this lesson, you will have improved your English pronunciation and you will be able to use and pronounce one of the most important vowel sounds in the English language and one that non-native speakers often get wrong, and that is the U sound. Now, there are different ways to pronounce U in English, but in British English, we often say U rather than U, and that is a characteristic of British form of English. I'll tell you more about this in a moment, and it's really important because this is an area that non-native speakers often get wrong. If you get it right, you will sound much more like a native speaker. I mentioned the different oo sounds in British English. I'm going to go through them for you. There are four different types. The first one is the uh sound, and it's in words like cup, duck, luck, but. And all you do to form that sound is just drop your jaw to make the sound. So it goes ah, uh, like that, duck, like that. So in a sentence, it would be, I dropped the cup near the duck. So the second oo sound is the reduced u. It's not oo, it's u, such as put, bush, sugar. Now to form that in a British English way, you don't make your lips quite as rounded as the full oo. It's more of a slight rounding of the lips. So it's oo sound. So in a sentence, she's put the sugar under the bush. Okay, now we come to the full oo sound with words such as blue, two, goose. And this is a much tighter rounding of the lips and a much more tight stressed sound. So it's oo and you get a much smaller oo here and the lips come forward. So it's things like the blue goose stood next to the two boys. And the fourth sound is the characteristic British English u, which we use quite a lot as I mentioned before. And it's in words like you, cute, duke, university. So a sentence might be the cute duke went to university. Now, this is quite different from Americans. So if we say the word, for example, stupid in British English, we would pronounce it with a very distinct U sound. So it becomes stupid. Whereas the Americans would make it stupid, stupid. And that is very much the differentiation between the two. We look at another word. Let's look at duty. Now, British English is duty. Whereas Americans would flatten that to make it duty, duty. So also you can hear the difference in the American T. Now I've talked about that in my first pronunciation lesson, which you should have a look at, where they turn the T into a D. Now the question is, how do you know which words should be pronounced U? Now I can help you with that because there is a rule. If you have a U sound plus a consonant, plus E or I, it becomes U. So for example, with cute, you've got a U and a consonant, which is the T and an E. So how are you going to practice this? Well, again, I can help you here. Here's what you do. Firstly, you practice the words that I've given you and practice making sure that there's a difference in the U sound. So cup, duck, but, and then put, bush, sugar, blue, two, goose, you, cute, duke, university, stupid, duty. 
practice those words. Then practice the sentences. Now to help you with this, I've listed the sentences and the words below this video so that you can do it on your own. Then make your own sentences with each of the words and practice saying them. So you could start with something like, I wanted a cup of tea as I was thirsty. And move on to, I hope I get good exam results because I want to go to university. Then, if you're a teacher, you could get your students to make uh, practice their own sentences by creating their sentences and practicing together in pairs. And then the final stage, which would be really good, would be if you recorded yourself and then listened to it, listen back to it to make sure that you sound really different with each of the oo sounds. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please put your comments below this video in the comments section as I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget there will be another Secret to Learning English like a native speaker posted on Friday and every week I also do my pronunciation lessons as well so that you can learn like a native speaker and speak like a native speaker. So subscribe to catch my lessons so you don't miss a single one and I'll see you on Friday. Enjoy learning your English. Bye!